G'day everyone, welcome back to Luke's Way of Looking. Today we're going to be working on some designs for war bikers. I wanted to do something a little bit different to the chopper style bike that I've seen a lot for orcs, so I decided to make some mono wheels. Generally speaking, mono wheels are pretty inefficient, don't brake very well and don't corner very well, which sounds pretty orky to me. I really like the look of the double articulated guns from the Cyclone in Borderlands 3, so I'm hoping to implement something like that, as well as a bunch of armor plating and random equipment and other bits and pieces just slapped on. As you can see, I've blocked out three different wheels, all with different tread designs, and they are gonna become our three wall bikers. Currently working on the first design and I'm just trying to nail down the position of the engine and the seating position of the driver. So here you can see I've just brought in a couple of guns. This one I stole off the war buggy design. I'm going to make a start on the attachment point for the guns and naturally become immediately distracted and work on something else. Here you can see I've changed up the exhaust design from my initial concept. I actually end up changing it again. A lot of the time when I'm designing miniatures, I like to just have something blocked out, even if it doesn't end up being the final design, just so I can get an idea of where things are gonna be, where something sits in 3D space. Sometimes just to remind myself that I wanna put something there, but I don't really know what yet. Another perfect example of certain parts of the design just being placeholders. I've come back to the tread on this wheel and decided to redesign it. I eventually end up going for something more like tractor tire tread. I think the design I had initially looked too similar to the second wheel, which is why I decided to change it. This is our third and final iteration of the exhaust for this bike. I really like the way it kind of wraps around the wheel and then the little silencer at the top. Looks pretty cool, you know, looks north. This little bracket here is one of my new favorite little greeblies. I used it a lot on my battle wagon design and I think I'm going to keep using it a lot in future vehicle designs. It's just a great way to join panels together, join objects together, but also still feels very orky. Starting to design some of the gear that I want to attach to the side. I think this is going to end up being some sort of ammo box. As you can see, I like to make judicious use of my previous designs and I will happily take bits and pieces as long as they fit whatever design I'm working on, like this fuel can here.
Here I'm just going to extrude this plane along a curve that I've designed which is going to give me this square belt shape which I'm going to turn into an ammo belt. Now this does bulk the design out quite a bit and changes the silhouette quite a bit so I do end up only having this on one side. It was just a bit too busy having it on both sides. Here I'm designing this I-beam piece. My idea was it would add more support for this barrel on the side, but apparently I forgot that the wheel needs to turn. So later I go back in and make it look like the wheel would turn on the inside of that sheet of metal. So after adding those finishing touches on the first biker, we can now move on to the second design. No, 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 no. 
since we already have the structural base for the second and third wheels a lot of those two designs is just going to be me adding details Something I'm doing here, and you may have noticed me doing it before, is cutting up pieces of my orc and repositioning them. This just saves me a bit of time in ZBrush. I don't have to go back and forth and back and forth testing poses to make sure that they work. I just block it out here in Maya and then fix it up in ZBrush at the end. Switching over to ZBrush quickly, you can see I'm just fixing up the tears in the arm that were created when I was cutting up the orc. I also have a cloth roll that I want to add some details to in ZBrush. A bit easier to do here than it is in Maya. started working on the third design. As you might have seen, I have chucked in a little slugger there for the driver. It's a little detail that I decided to go back and add to the other two war bikers.
All right, guys, there it is. The three wall biker mono wheel designs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love these designs. I love how they turned out. I think they're gonna look awesome on the tabletop. That is, of course, when I eventually get around to printing them. Now, there is a few things that I want to mention before we finish up. Number one being we hit a thousand subs, which is incredible. So I just wanna say a massive thanks to all of you out there that are subscribed. I know we've got a lot of new faces around recently, thanks to the recent shout out from Guy at Midwinter Minis. It was really, really cool to get a shout out from him. So I just wanna say a massive thanks to Guy as well. And of course, a huge thanks to all of my existing and new patrons. As always, all my new patrons' names are up on the screen. I recently updated the way that I release files on Patreon, so be sure to go check that out if you're interested in early access to all my future STL packs. And if you're not interested in monthly subscription stuff, then I will be releasing files on itch.io. So make sure to check out all of the links in the description. You get access to my Patreon, my other socials, my itch.io, and my Discord server, which I recently opened up to YouTube viewers. So if you want to come hang out, chat about minis, 3D printing, whatever, be sure to check out the link for that as well. Thanks so much for watching guys. I appreciate all of you. I'm going to try and get at least one more video out for you guys before the end of October. So stay tuned for that and I'll catch you later.